Hi everyone, so another walk with Faye. And today we are going to walk around Keyhaven Marshes and then we're going to head for some more food. Surprise, surprise. And this time after the walk we're going to go to Harbour Hotels in Christchurch for an afternoon champagne tea. So we're going to have to get our posh on. Oh, I don't know about that. We're not necessarily posh, but um, it's quite a nice day. It's actually quite warm. Sun's out, there's a lot of cloud. And, bonus, you start off on this walk outside a pub. The Gun Inn. So it's a circular route, you come back, pop into the pub. Result. But um, yeah, let's get walking. just pointed out that we believe well it is the Isle of Wight I'm yeah. sure it is because yeah, be. as we were driving here we could see the Isle of Wight so in the distance those dark and misty mountains that's actually the Isle of Wight no it's the fort it's more the foreground the, dis the proper oh, like, right. far behind yeah. is um, normal mainland isn't okay it? yeah so the closest land further away is actually the Isle of Wight the other side's probably what Portsmouth I guess so I don't really know the geographical or Southampton. Situation. That boat seems really quiet. It is, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. It's got a real gentle little hum to it. Like just gliding through the water. Yeah. It's like a little fishing boat, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Sound of the gate. Cozy. Oh, you even got a squeak there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. Bird migration trails. Oh, so this is the whole. Yeah, this is there. where we're going to be walking. That's nice, isn't it? Mm. Looks like it'll be good views. Yeah. If after you've watched this, you are hugely inspired to uh, come and do the same walk that Faye and I have just done. Just a heads up, if it's been a wet day, or if it's been a few wet days before you come for the walk, it is a little bit... Puddly. Puddly and wet on the ground. And we've not had loads of rain, have we? No, we had a bit overnight. Yeah. Other than that, it's been quite dry, isn't it? Yeah. So I have absolutely no idea what the hell that is. I'm going to have to uh, check it out when we get home. What is that? It looks like it's a cross between a woodlouse, a millipede and a caterpillar. Yeah. Why has it got a pointed arse? <laughs> it doesn't look like it should have a pointed arse, does Have it? you ever seen a, um, a ladybird larvae? No. So it looks like that. So yeah. it's obviously a ladybird's a beetle. You knew a ladybird was a beetle, didn't you? Yeah. So beetle larvae look like that, so I would assume, and this is an absolute guess, that's going to be some sort of beetle, maybe? Right. This is quite beasty. Or well, we've just uh, discovered a new species, <laughs> and I will call it the Oenus famous. I like that. Yeah. Dinosaur-esque. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's an interesting one. Already found something I've never seen in my life before. Um, so I can be a bit nosy when we get home and check out and try and find out what that actually is. So over there is Hurst Castle. That is how it said, isn't it? Hurst Castle. Yeah, in the lighthouse. We believe you get a boat over to that. I, I don't know if it, uh, that's the only way. I think I'm sure you can walk on. That looks like it joins, doesn't yeah, it? It does, to be fair, yeah. It might just, the boat might be just a quicker way of getting there. Yeah. But yeah, Hurst Castle. Right? Yeah, this fly flew into our Oh, there we go. <laughs> Those who have seen previous videos will know flies do get attracted to Faye. And why is that Faye? Because I smell like shit. Because she smells like shit. <laughs> she doesn't. <laughs> Just a uh, disclaimer. It smells delightful, didn't you? I hope so. Most of the time. 
It's a nice boat. You love that clunking noise, don't you? Yeah. It's really, I don't know how to just describe that. It's quite soothing. Yeah, it's just cosy. It just reminds me of the seaside. Yeah. Crack on. That's like salt marshes, you've got a lot of geese and other waterfowl in there. So this area here looks really calm and flat and you've got a lot of seabirds just chilling out and having fun. But then just, I don't know, probably Three to four hundred yards out, you can see the the sea gets a little bit choppier, but it's quite choppy out there. And the wind has a certain chill to it today as well. Mm, Tap my ears. <laughs> so Faye's got cold ears. I always get cold ears. You never get it, do you? No. My ears are numb. Mine are now. <laughs> to uh, you know, just like myself to life generally. <laughs> Unless I'm in nature, but uh, no, in all seriousness, it is a little bit chilly with the wind. Um, but it's a gorgeous area. As always down here on the Dorset, Hampshire coast. Got an oyster catcher just doing his thing. I don't think you'll find any oysters there, mate. His little walk. <laughs> It's really difficult to see on the camera I'm using because it's a GoPro so it's not like a big zoom but there's a couple of curlew I think are out there just sifting through all the, the mud and the silt. Bit of lunch. Flip flop. Yeah there you go it's a lesser spotted flip flop. If where we go we find an item of clothing somewhere don't we? Yeah nearly making up a whole person aren't we? Yeah we could we could create a whole wardrobe. Right, shoes, socks, gloves. Yeah, there was a pair of shoes on last week's walk. It was a pair of shoes, yeah. And then a pair of socks later on. Yeah. So, and now we found a flip flop. Yeah. Lovely. So, there's a ferry over there. There's also a ferry over there. What are they called, Faye? The ferries, is it? White, White, White Link? Link. Yeah, so White Link, which is what we went on when we went over to the Isle of Wight last year. And over there, in the very far distance is Yarmouth on the Isle of Wight, which is where they arrive. Which is like a gorgeous little seaside town. Very small, but... It's more village, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Definitely more village. Um, but it's lovely over there. And we've just seen a ferry depart from Yarmouth. And a ferry leaving... What is that over there? Limington. Limington? Yeah. Leaving Limington. So they're going to cross, but... Yeah, good memories in the Isle of Wight. Got a grey heron down there, or as my niece Nicole will call it, a long bird. And yeah, then we'll see you after. Maybe it's old and I'm going to walk, and that's how it walks. So there's a huge bird of prey. I would be buzzing if that's a white-tailed eagle, which are over this way. It's gonna take two seconds. So it's got a stripe on come its Come on, wing. come closer to me. 
It is an absolute beast. I'm going to guess that that's a white-tailed eagle. Size of its wingspan. It's flying away from us, unfortunately. But it is spooking all the other birds at Waterfowl, which is near. Yeah, can't pick it up on my camera. It looks like it's trying to get some um, air under its wings. Where's he gone? Yeah, he's gone far into the distance now. He's coming back round. God, whatever it is, he's gorgeous. If it wasn't for us having to be at Harbour Hotel at three o'clock this afternoon, I could probably spend hours here. There's so much bird activity going on, I could absolutely nerd it out. Bring my proper camera, binoculars. Would you come with me, Faye? If I had sandwiches with me, <laughs> I'd get bored on need to eat. Yeah, you, Faye loves nature, don't you? Yeah. But you have a limit as to... Yeah, like, as I say, if you give me some food to keep me occupied, like a child, <laughs> give them snacks, then, yeah. Whereas I could just sit here all day, every day, absorbing it all in. This is absolute bliss for me. I just wish I could have seen if that was a white-tailed eagle or not, because as I say, I would have been buzzing. I'd have been running off like I was a little boy, running down some of Christmas presents <laughs> on Christmas Day morning. <laughs> that Lymington Harbour over there, you can see all the boats. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, so it's bang in the middle, isn't it, of Lymington and yeah. Port Christchurch, I guess. Yeah. Hopefully you can pick this noise up. It's the Skylark. That is one of my favourite noises or bird calls in the world. Before Faye and I moved down to Dorset, we used to watch and listen, we'd actually mainly listen to as we were working, to like sound of like the beach, harbours, coast, nature, just to get us in that kind of vibe and mindset of living by the coast, but also in the countryside. And the skylark is a noise that I always listen to and just puts me in such a good place. And there used to be a video um, on YouTube, which was just a field with, I think, daisies and poppies, funnily enough, buttercups. And it looks from this hilltop out to, out to sea. A gorgeous, sunny summer's day. And they had all the skylarks in the background singing. And um, so now when I'm down here and I hear that, it just makes me think, yep, made it, done it. One of the best feelings. Smashed it. Smashed it. They're geese, aren't they? I oh, know they are ducks. Yeah, livestock over there. The so horses. Horses, ponies, what do you reckon? Uh, horses? Yeah. I don't actually know the difference. I think ponies are just smaller. Oh. If you own horses or have an interest in ponies, <laughs> put in the comments below what is the difference between a pony and a horse. Whichever that is over there. Let's produce that. They produce a lot of that. Yeah, this on a blue sky day, you've got like a sandwich. Oh, it's stunning. Cheese and pickle. <laughs> Cheese and pickle, yeah. Basic. Jam sandwich for me. Cup of tea, flask of tea. Packet of crisps. Yeah. What flavour crisps would you Cheese go for? Cheese and onion. Okay. I'll probably go, yeah, do you know what? Cheese and onion go well right now. 
Oh, do you know what? Packet of crisps. I don't think they make them anymore. Go on. I haven't had it in years. Prawn cocktail quavers. They were elite. Okay. Did you ever have them? Yeah, I did. I they do remember them. Absolutely elite. And yep. they were so rare. But I assume they don't make them now. Yeah, I haven't seen them in years, to be honest. Oh, so, oh that's so, yeah, prawn cocktail uh, crisps. Oh, sandwiches as well, though. Oh, just Can you tell it's coming up to uh, lunchtime? And we're going for <laughs> afternoon tea. <laughs> oh, but just before we go behind this bush once more. Hello. Just watching the sailing boats go by. Isle of Wight in the distance. Heaven. Bird. Yeah. Stand back. Oh, you again. <laughs> She's still winning. <laughs> I don't know where that bird's gone. That was really no, loud, wasn't it? It's got off. It's like pew 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 pew. Pew 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 pew. pew. I don't know what that is. That's like a, again, it looks like a lark of some sort, I think. Because it's like gliding down. Yeah, it's like dropping out the sky. Yeah. No, oh my word. Black headed girl. Do you know what? Even barbed wire adds to the touch, doesn't it? Brambles, gorse, shrub, generic shrub. Yeah, no one likes a generic shrub. Yeah. Got some dock leaves, daisies, stinging nettles. I mean, it's just like liquid gold content. Yeah, it's like, it's, yeah. It's the little things, you know, just simple little things. And like, you can imagine this in spring, summer. And you've got all the crickets and all the like grasshopper yeah. noises as well. And butterflies everywhere. We're definitely coming back here. <laughs> we say that about every walk we do. And then like five years go past and yeah. then we do a walk. Just again. need to explore more places. That's yeah. the problem. And then we don't get a chance to actually go back to where we've already been. We've barely scratched the surface, oh, have we? Yeah. For how many places there are still to visit around here. Yeah. It's literally been everything we expected coming down here because there's so much to do and walk and go and see like like if they mentions coastal country it's literally got everything so the choice is yours you know you can go inland to fully countryside or come places like this and you've got coast and country or you can just go along the cliff top walks and take it all in it's just you're spoiled for choice and yeah. it's just beautiful isn't it where we were before we were sort of scratching around for walks weren't yeah. we that we oh, had yeah, right that we hadn't done before. Hello, mate. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we were just doing the same ones like every week, weren't we? We had yeah. about two or three that we... Why do they look like bombs? I don't know what they are. Like yeah, we, um, we were just doing the same two or three and cycling them, weren't we? Yeah. And it was just got... It was nice, but it did get a bit boring because we'd seen it all before. Yeah. Whereas this, it's like we're seeing new stuff every time. Definitely. Definitely. Nice little pubs that we can go to as well. Yeah. You know? It's just, it's the whole atmosphere and vibe of the place. It's just, I say it's like a, you're getting like a, a warm hug. Yeah. Aren't you? So, yeah. Dorset, Hampshire, Devon, Cornwall, Somerset, southwest of England. I think a lot of people tend to go to, um, like tourists go to the main attractions, like the big cities like London and places like that, but honestly, not too many of you. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
but if you are coming over to the UK, you should certainly come down and have a look at the southwest coast of England because it is absolute creme de la creme. Oh, that's my pleasant noise. It was, isn't it? It's one of your favourite noises. It is. He looks too big to do that, doesn't he? He does. Oh. His, so does his belly. It's like us at Christmas, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Go on, mate. You have that itch. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow. Don't scare it. It's going to go behind the bush. It's coming back. Beautiful, isn't it? Mm, it's gorgeous. Go on, make the noise. He's not going to make the noise, is he? No. So coming to the end of the walk now, back to the little bridge that we first walked over. Then we're gonna to walk to the car park, which is about 200 meters away. Gotta say, that was an absolute pleasure, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, it really was. Instructions, and let's be honest, as those who watch us know, we do get lost many, many times. Yeah. It was a circular walk with an obvious path. Yeah. So it was actually- We didn't get lost once. Didn't get lost, straight round, not showing off. Oh yeah, my word, look, the sun's just coming out. Yeah. Look at that. So classed as an easy walk, I'd give it that, I'd say yeah. it was an easy walk. Level ground, gravel track all the way around. A few puddles like I mentioned at the start, so uh, again. And on the end, last stretch yes, as well. Yes, on the back straight, quite big puddles as well. So if it's been a wet period, definitely bring you um, walking boots, as I say. Um, but yeah, really nice walk, lots of nature, beautiful scenery, coast country, spot on. Yeah, I'm good. Now it's time to head over to a Harbour Hotel and get our champagne, ooh la la, <laughs> afternoon tea. See you there. We've uh, arrived at Harbour Hotel in Christchurch. First impression, parking, shocking. I'll be honest. I'm sure. Or lack of parking. Oh, there's yeah, about yeah. what 50 spaces or something for the whole hotel. Yeah, there's not enough. There's not enough um, parking spaces. That's for sure. There's a lot of people just waiting. There might be a function on or something. However, you should still make sure that you've got ample parking. So I think we're going to have to try and find uh, like a side road somewhere, like a residential street to try and park somewhere. And we've still got a bit of time, still got about 20 minutes, but um, yeah, no parking, which is a bit of a pain. I've also got a little bit of a hangry vibe going on. Yeah. <laughs> so my patience, but yeah, it's not great, you know, parking. Um, looking forward to the champagne afternoon tea, but parking, rubbish. So we think this is the entrance up here. So we're gonna go to the reception area now. Faye's looking all pretty in pink. So we're at our cosy little table. We're not allowed to film people, so <laughs> outside we go. <laughs> oh, my absolute saviour. Americano with hot milk, a lass will do. And Faye. You've got chamomile. chamomile tea. There's one thing I love in life, other than Faye, of course, and my family, and Arsenal. And sausages. Sausages. Oh. Biscuits. And biscuits. And coffee. So it's a real shame I can't actually show you what this place looks like because it's actually really nice, isn't it? Mm. The room's nice. Good decor. 
but um, I've had strict instructions not to film. That's right, isn't it? We can't film anybody else. So no other it's got customers. To be a, huh? No other customers. No other customers, so it's just got to be Faye and I. So you're going to have to be a little bit strategic with how I film. Um, but it is lovely. So where we're sitting, you've got like a an uh, arched window which looks out onto the view which I just showed you. And then behind me we've got a bar over my shoulder a little bit. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it is, it's really nice. I can't pan around to so many people about, but yeah. Other than the car parking situation, what we've come into, very good. So it's arrived, we've got a scone right in front of me. How tempting is that? And we've got some um, our buns and sandwiches. Oh my words, and then we've got our cakes. Michael, don't watch this, my, P, my PT. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it looks amazing. I'm really looking forward. Faye is absolutely livid. We might be getting champagne, but we ain't got any champagne yet. It's coming. So apparently it's coming. They're, they're speaking to somebody about it. But yeah. Absolutely livid. Look at her. I'm joking. She's all right. She's cool. Champagne has arrived. My little face. <laughs> so I've been told I'm now eating brioche, not bruschetta. Fucky <laughs> <laughs> face, just a foodie. But everyone knows. I And this is a prawn volavant. Yeah. A prawn volavant, which is like a, um, it's like a puff, it's like a pastry, puff pastry. Mm -hmm. It's like a puff pastry. Prawn volavant. Yeah, quite good. Taste of prawn. That's a lot. Prawn. Prawn. And it's a pastry. surprise, isn't it? <laughs> I've got something stuck in my teeth. <laughs> it is now cake time. Faye's gone for the chocolate. Chocolate brownie. Is that a brownie, yeah? Come on, we've got to see your reaction to this. Oh, look. I'm quite fussy with brownies. You are, aren't you? Oh. Chocolate tea? Huh? Chocolate tea? Yeah. Out of ten? Six or seven. Okay, no, six. okay. It's not a loads of flavour. Yeah, but it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's scone time. I say scone, Faye says scone. Drop in the comments, what do you say, scone or scone? We're just saying, the ratio for how much jam and cream there is, is it going to be enough for two of us? See, I don't feel confident. Huh? I don't feel confident. I feel like I could have that as my own so it's like we need one of these each that's how i feel but right. i might be i might be proved wrong once i start spreading yeah it's going to be a tactical spread yeah i must retain my eagerness for the amount of cream and jam um, so yeah wish me luck guys right so i put the cream on a scone first I, I use it like a butter. But it's not butter. This is the problem. It's not butter, it's cream. Cream always goes on top of a cake. You never put cream underneath a cake. This it's is, the topping. Yeah, but this is a scone. So I'll use the cream, I'll layer it first as a butter, and then I'll put jam over the top. It works incredibly. See, this is when I, did, I put the, the jam on first, so and then the cream. this is how it's supposed to look. You put the jam, and then you dollop the cream on the top. Nah. Not, it's not a sandwich. Yeah, but the cream acts as a butter. It's not a sandwich. <laughs> it's a scone. It's a scone. So it's you a spread the jam on because that makes the cream stick. And then you dollop it on and you eat it daintily with a pinky out. Like so. There's nothing dainty about you. Mm. Look at that. Oh, there's like crumbs flying out <laughs> your lips. Do you see that? <laughs> I saw it catch the light as it come out. <laughs> So don't, don't tell me how to put my cream and jam on my scone. What have I done now? What have I done? Looking at it. <laughs> it feels like rose pill. <laughs> 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 
thing looks like roadkill because that's not how I normally do my scone <laughs> and I try to spread it. <laughs> Jesus. Let's take my plate. Are you a scone? 100% going to eat the crumbs on my plate as well. Right, so now... You want to mop them up with your fingers, aren't you, like yeah. you normally do? <laughs> when you have toast. Right, so what I do... Get cream... And then... Spread it like butter, like a sandwich. It's spread it like nice. butter, with the cheese. Look at that. Perfect. So put it on there. So working class. Oh, and you're not. <laughs> Look, beautiful spread. Pop it down. Get a touch of jam. Leaf fade with a little bit. I did drop a little bit just then, she hasn't seen it, that's great. I did see it. And then just spread it over the top. Look how much easier that is. Look at that. That's exactly what I've just done, but the other way around. Exactly. You're just making it look worse. So you're moaning at you're, me. You're thinking your way is right. You're moaning at me, saying it's wrong. You're not always right, though. We are running dangerously low on jam. Well, I've got all the jam I need. I'm, you still at the other half to do, yeah? Well, you better leave me some then, well, haven't you, you, darling? <laughs> I said you ain't got enough. <laughs> <laughs> Be minimal. A little so, bit yeah, shy of jam. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. You're just so working class. Oh, you're working class. I'm going to take more jam for you saying that. Huh? Huh? But they're lovely scones. There's plenty of cream left. Don't touch my cream. <laughs> Do you want me? No. <laughs> I feel like I can't eat this last little bit. You know when you've got too much sweet, but I'm still Unbelievable. not full up. <laughs> Sticky. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, could have done with another tablespoon of jam. I thought, you'd, I thought you said all that was mine. Well, no, it was, but I'm just, I've reached the point where like this is too sickly with all the cream. So I need more jam to like you counteract. I might not be able to. I'll smash that, no bother. Let's try a little bit of jam on, see if I can just. Mm. Oh, nice one. So when you're built like an absolute unit, when you're on your way to being built like an absolute <laughs> unit, you need tons. It's a nice day, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, really nice. What's your favourite part? The lemon cake. For the whole day? <laughs> 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 the walk was nice, but because there was like a chilly wind, in my ears and my head cold, I should have worn a hat. So that took the edge off a little bit for me. But yeah, it was lovely. I just felt like I needed to be a little bit warmer. Um, so that's why the lemon cake is my highlight of the day. All right, fair enough. Oh, and seeing um, my pheasant. Oh yeah, pheasant yeah. It's your favourite bird. Yeah. yeah. I think for me it would be just... <laughs> Just, <laughs> uh, just the nature, absolutely love the nature. That's my kind of vibe. This is absolutely lovely, and um, it's definitely redeemed itself from the parking situation earlier, which really irritated me. But hungry, I was hungry, so. But yeah, this has been delightful. But for me, the nature walk, all the birds, the atmosphere, oh, that was my bliss, as I said. So. Yeah, it's been a lovely, a lovely day, hasn't it? So I think we're just going to finish our uh, drinks and uh, make our way home. Make our way home. I'll show you the before we go. I'll show you the uh, view as well. Go out on like, a little porch area, um, and then we'll head home. Deck, as it's called, the, the deck. upper deck. Yeah, the makes sense. It's not the yeah. porch area. <laughs> <laughs> I don't belong in these environments, no. guys. <laughs> we were on the deck, darling. <laughs> <laughs> not the porch way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I belong on the lower porch, not the upper deck. But yeah, so I'll show you what the uh, deck looks like with the views, um, and then we will head home. That's nice. That's nice, isn't it? Like you say, on a sunny day. Mm. So that's the um, jetty over there, that restaurant. Okay. Well, there you go. 
upper deck or lower porch <laughs> view over to the Muddyfords Quay, Muddyfords Huts. Beach Huts. Beach Huts. Right, so back to the car, just about to head off home. And we've had a lovely day, lovely walk. Hopefully you enjoyed it with us as well. Um, and we enjoyed some lovely food, good food. Oh yeah, I actually feel more full now we've got back in the car yeah. than what we were in there. Yeah, flute of champagne, coffee, caramel tea, brilliant. But um, yeah, as always, if you've enjoyed what you've watched, um, please do feel free to subscribe. Don't have to if you don't want to, but um, it's genuinely appreciated if you do. Helps the channel grow. Um, and also drop a little like as well. That would be very cool. We like a like, don't we? We do like a like. We like a like. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Anything else to say? No. No? Cool. Well, until next time, we will see you soon. Take care.